You ever want to stop learning about syntax and rules and actually make something cool? In this video, I'll show you how to write a Java program to animate ASCII art. What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to another Java video. On this channel, I do a lot of fun and easy computer science videos just like this one, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. ASCII art is a form of displaying images with the 95 displayable ASCII characters. ASCII stands for the American Standard Code for Information Interchange, and it pretty much represents all the characters you can display from your keyboard. There are 128 total characters, but you can only display 95. The ones that can't be displayed are ones like enter or other characters that do things but don't have a symbol for them. The 95 displayable characters are ones like lowercase letters, uppercase letters, symbols, and numbers. Let's start by making a new Java project by going to File New Java Project, and we'll call it Rafflecopter, because that's what we'll be making, and then hit Finish. Now, inside of here, expand it, uh, click on Source, right click, and go to New Class. And this is our Java file. And we'll name it, um, we'll name it Rafflecopter again. And check this public static void main check mark, and hit Finish and this sets it up for us. My font here is pretty big so I'm just going to turn that down by going to preferences, um, basic, and then changing the text font size. Edit like 14. Try to see if you can type out all 95 displayable ASCII characters. Um, I'll start with the lowercase, I'll do the uppercase, I think, I hope I got all those. Um, then maybe the numbers, zero, and then I'll just go through all the symbols. And then the space, the space is a character. So let's see if we got all those, 95, nice. And all ASCII art is made up of these 95 displayable characters. So you can get real creative with it. Uh, let's just start our Rafflecopter. The Rafflecopter animation is going to be 10 lines tall and 23 characters wide. Put characters on the screen is really easy. You just type this code. Just like that. And we want it to be 10 lines tall. So we'll copy this and paste it nine more times. Two, three. And it's going to be 23 characters long. So type 23 spaces. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, 23. And you can copy that in each of them. This is like the canvas for our Rafflecopter. It's easiest to make the Rafflecopter first and then we'll animate it once it's done. At the top of the Rafflecopter are its propellers and they have two raffles on the outside and one LOL in the middle. So I'll do raffle, raffle. In the middle we have an LOL, raffle, raffle. The propellers are attached to the helicopter with a joint in the middle. So add a joint in the middle. Make the roof of the rafflecopter but part of the small propellers sticking up. Make the middle of the LOL propeller, and then attach it to the body of the copter. Then make a window, because we don't want them to crash, and make the front. You have to use two backslashes if you want one backslash, because if you try to do one, it'll have an error. So to fix it, just type another one. So if we save it and run it right now, we have the top. It's looking pretty sweet, and let's keep going. We'll finish the small propeller, and We'll do the edge of the body here and the front. And now do the floor of it. And when our rafflecopter lands, it lands on landing skids. Um, so we need to attach those and then make the skids. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it, we're a little messed up at the front here. So add a space to it. And I think that should fix it. Yeah, it's, it looks a little stubby, so we'll extend the base. 
and now it's looking pretty good. And go ahead and name it since this is your very own copter. Center it a little more. And we can animate our raffle copter by thinking of how animated movies work. A movie is a series of pictures or frames, and most movies will play at 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. Our raffle copter is going to have two frames. We're going to display those frames back to back so it looks like the raffle copter is like moving its propellers. Press this button to make your coding window a little bigger. To make two frames, you just copy and paste and we'll change each one a little bit. So to make the propellers look like they're moving, we're going to have one side displaying on one frame and flip them on the other frame. So we'll remove these and we'll also remove one of the small propellers and we're just gonna flip it. So now we have to hide these like that and then hide this one. Okay, save. Let's, uh, let's see how it's doing, how our two frames are doing. And both the, both the copters look pretty good. They don't look like super funky or anything. And they're flipped on each one. And both of these frames were like stacked on top of each other. So just space them out a little bit. Like that and copy it and space out the first one too. And we want to swap between these two frames forever so it looks like it's always going. So to do that, you type this while true and then curly braces and then stick both of your frames inside of it. All right, cut and paste. The shortcuts for everything is down in the red box below me. So. This will switch between the two frames forever. And our computer is so fast that it'll go like, like it'll switch between the frames really, really, really fast. So we don't want it to be super fast. So let's add a little delay between them. Um, and we'll do that by typing this. And, and we'll do like 100. And that's 100 milliseconds, which is one tenth of one second. It's still really fast, but better for the animation. And this red underline is saying that things can go wrong if you try to pause, um, but we can just click Add Throws Declaration to tell Java that, hey, it might throw an error. So click it, and that should be good. And then we want to add this delay after the second frame, too. OK, and once your program kind of looks like this, go ahead and save it, and we'll run it and see how it, how it works. Make this a little bigger. And there you go. <laughs> you have your moving animated Rafflecopter ASCII art. If you try to scroll up, um, you won't see the animation because it's, it's doing the frames really fast. So you have to stay at the bottom um, and then that's how you'll see your animation. And I challenge you to use any of the 95 ASCII characters to customize your Rafflecopter. I bet y'all can do some really creative things with this. Question of the day. How did you customize your copter? And what challenges did you face if you didn't get it working? Connect with me in the comments and engage with this community of new programmers. Make sure to subscribe so you see all my newest videos as soon as they come out. If this was helpful, smash that like button and share it if you think it might help someone you know. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate it. Catch you.